Looking to set up a home lab but don't want a bulky desktop taking up space? A mini PC might be the perfect solution for you. Welcome to the Mini PC Tech Channel, where we talk about all things mini PCs. I'm Mike, your host. Today we're diving into why a mini PC is a great choice for your home lab. If you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Links to more details and relevant posts will be in the description below. Alright, let's get started. First off, mini PCs are compact and save a ton of space. Whether you're setting up a lab in your office, bedroom, or garage, you won't have to worry about it taking up too much room. Despite their small size, they pack enough power to run virtual machines and handle all sorts of tasks, from network simulations to software development. Now, let's talk about efficiency. Mini PCs are known for using less power than traditional desktops, making them a more eco-friendly and cost-effective option, especially for setups running 24-7. Next up, performance. Don't let the size fool you. With the right setup, including at least 8GB of RAM and a quad-core processor, mini PCs can handle multiple virtual machines and networking tasks without breaking a sweat. Plus, many models are easily expandable with extra RAM and storage, so you can upgrade as your lab grows. One major advantage of mini PCs is their quiet operation. These machines often run with minimal noise, thanks to efficient cooling systems. That's great if your lab is in a shared space where noise could be an issue. Lastly, let's talk about flexibility. Mini PCs typically come with plenty of ports for external devices like hard drives, network cables, and displays. Whether you're working on Docker containers, testing new software, or learning about VLANs, these PCs can handle it all. So what about computers that can be a home lab? I separate these into three groups. Computers with 8GB are great for creating a few small virtual machines. Computers with 16GB of memory are good for a few useful machines. Computers with 32GB or more memory are good for serious home labs with a small network of useful computers. Let's explore these mini PCs. More information and links in the description below. Octa-Core i3 If you're on the lookout for a strong, compact solution for your home lab, the Firewall Mini PC Octa-Core i3 N305 is a fantastic option. With 8 cores that can reach speeds of up to 3.8 GHz, this Mini PC delivers impressive performance. You can customize it to fit your needs with DDR5 RAM options that go up to 32GB, and it has an M2 slot for easy storage expansion. It stands out with its four 2.5 gigabytes Ethernet connections. The GMKTEC Mini PC with the AMD Ryzen 7 5700U is a fantastic choice for anyone who loves tinkering with home labs. It comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes storage. It is priced below $300 and there is a model with 32GB of RAM and 2TB storage for about $200 more. Both models support 8 cores. The Intel NUC12 Pro is another mid-range computer. What differentiates it is that it is expandable to 64GB and support 8K output. It is a little more expensive at about $600, but supports 12 cores and a faster 4.4GHz CPU. The Minisforum MS01 is built to be a home lab. It costs a little over $800 right now. It comes with a 5.4 GHz CPU that supports 14 cores. It comes with 32 GB of RAM and 1 TB of storage. You can expand this with two more SSDs and up to 96 GB of high-speed RAM, making this a great lab. Finally we have the GEEKOM Mini PCIe-T13. It is a little more expensive than the base price of the Minisforum but comes with 2TB of storage with a similar CPU. Memory is expandable to 64GB and supports quad displays. To wrap things up, 
Mini PCs offer a compact, powerful, and energy-efficient solution for your home lab. They're perfect for small spaces and flexible enough to grow with your needs. If you're ready to explore mini PCs for your home lab setup, check out the links in the description below. As always, I may earn a small commission from any purchases, at no extra cost to you, which helps support the channel. Thanks for tuning in, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more reviews, tips, and all things mini PCs. Until next time, this is Mike, signing off.